All right, we have a 2016 Ford E450 based Leprechaun Coachman 319 DS. Has two slides, both with power awnings over the top to protect them from getting stuff in there and gumming up the works. 30 amp power, outdoor shower. On this side is all your utilities, so you've got your water connection, fuel, power. On the back, uh, the generator is also on that side. On the back, you've got a ladder. There is a small bit of damage here on the ladder from backing into something. Very minor damage there. And a little bit back here on the back corner, just on this little cap, corner cap, you can see somebody clipped me in a parking lot. Um, up here, I'll show you the generator real quick. It's a 4,000 watt. Cummins generator, the RVQG 4000. It's got about 130 hours on the generator, which is really low. You don't need to service them usually till you get to about 500 to 1000, depending on who you ask. On the living side of the rig, you'll see it's got a power awning. It's got a fridge on the outside here and a kitchen prep station. So you've got a full sink and a table that can level on any surface. And then you've got two outdoor plugs here that are GFI rated so that you can have different items out here while you're cooking. You've got an outdoor TV uh, with DVD player and you can also hook up anything through, um, through audio vis visual cables. Uh, and then here we have the 319 DS model. It has the Bigfoot auto levelers. Also has the, uh, I think that's on the other side, but I'll post a picture of the ride right for the tires to give you good suspension. You've got hookup here for a solar charger up to a 10 amp. As we come into the rig, you're going to see a couple of captain's chairs here in the, the cabin that can turn around and join the party back here. There's your Bigfoot auto leveler control. Class C, so you've got a bunk over the cabin. It's got shades up there. Also here is the, the outside protector to, to keep people from viewing in at night and a, an additional shade. There's also a table that can go here in between the captain's driver's chair and passenger's chair, give you a table as you're driving down the road. We've got a jackknife couch that turns into a bed, cabinets over top and then a large U table uh, that also turns into a bed. So you can sleep two comfortably there. Um, you could even sleep two here, two on top if you wanted to, and then two in the back. Realistically, it says six, but I think five to six is probably, uh, six to seven is possible, five to six is more comfortable. You've got a fireplace that works as a, a space heater, and then your full audio system here. You've got a power station that comes up with power and USB cables, and then your TV comes up here out of the countertop. And it's a pretty large TV for here in the living space. So this is your second TV in the rig. You've got your power and your hookups there for television. You can tap into the antenna that raises up off the roof to catch TV that way, two sinks with a cover that allows it to be more counter space. You've got three stove top and an oven, which most days you don't see anymore. Not a lot of use for an oven in a motorhome. Your microwave, and then cabinetry, storage space above and below. Your fridge and freezer runs off propane or electric. Just like the water heater, you can run your water heater in this rig off propane or electric. And you can see your control panel here. Your water pump, gas water heater, electric water heater, your tank heaters if you're somewhere really cold. Control for your two slides, your generator. And then the ability to connect AV cables here as well to your TV in the main cabin. You've got your bathroom here. Fan, two overhead cabinets, one down below your sink, mirror, and toilet. And on this side, you have your shower. Pretty decent sized shower here. I'm a six foot tall man and I'm comfortably able to shower in there. And then here's your queen size bed, cabinetry over the top, DVD player to go with the TV. 
So there's a TV right here. You'll note that there's plugs on each side of the bed so you can plug in your cell phones and whatnot. And then a fan up top here. Your air conditioning is ducted throughout. Uh, so you've got your ducts here, your main intake and outlet there, and ducts all the way through for your air conditioning as well.